Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, you'll find a lot of grocery hauls, coupon deals, money saving tips, and just mom life stuff. Um, please ignore the clutter all around the table because yeah, this, this week I've just been lazy. But I did go to Costco and I had a bunch of things I actually ne really, really needed this week. So um, I got some other stuff as well. Um, this is a pretty small family. It's myself, my husband, and my five-year-old son. Um, we still have some other meats and stuff in the freezer. Our fridge is pretty empty, and I still have to go to Aldi sometime this month as well. So, yeah. This was just over $150. Excuse the loud car driving by. <laughs> so, this was just over $150. I already um, submitted my receipt to Receipt Hog, Receipt Pal, Fetch Rewards, Swag Bucks, and I think that's it. Oh, and there was, I bought a 25 cent off, or was it 25 cent or 10 cents off um, any item on your receipt. So um, I have some of those links below. And for some of those, I know Fetch Rewards, I bought a, um, you'll get like a, if you're new and you do the sign up, you'll get some type of bonus as well. And typically I get something too. So yeah, let's just get started. So the only non-food items I bought this month. Okay, so by the way, I shopped on 4-9. So you'll be seeing this Sunday morning. So if you needed these couple items that are on sale I'm, that I'm going to mention, um, make sure you grab them while the Costco hot deals is still in effect for the month of April. Hot deals go um, usually in between coupon booklets. So the last coupon booklet ended last Saturday, so before Easter Sunday, and the next one starts um, the middle of next week, I believe. So, um, one of the hot deals were this, the Ziploc slider bags. My store is one of the smaller Costco's and they don't typically sell the slider bags. They sell the multi-pack of the ones that you have to like press. I prefer the slider ones. And this was on sale for $10.99. It's usually $13.99. So I thought that was a good deal. And I like to buy things that I use all the time in bulk like that. Um, or else I've been buying it for like $2 for like a 20 pack at Aldi. Didn't do the price comparison. I know what's with me. Typically I do, but um, certain things I'm not even going to worry about. So I bought that in bulk. And again, it's not a regular item that my store usually has in stock. So yeah, $10.99 for that. That is a hot deal that ends Sunday. So yeah. Other non-food item, this was like the main thing I went in for because um, I forgot to grab it the last time I was in Costco a few weeks ago. Whoops. Oh, and by the way, I usually shop at Costco. I try to stick to once a month, but um, depending on the hot deals that are going on and the coupon booklets, I may stop in twice a month. And I also live really close to Costco, which is kind of dangerous too, but... Um, I do like to take advantage of those sales. I am someone who shops, I shop the sales. So yeah, um, this is what I really needed. So Kirkland Platinum Performance Ultra Shine, um, what are these, lemon citrus scent dishwasher tabs. So I think they made it better. It sounds like they made it better. It's probably the same thing, who knows. <laughs> so this was nine, where is it? Sorry, I'm looking at my receipt. It was $9.89, I believe. I'm not seeing it. But yeah, I'm just going to say it was $9.89. It was under $10. So for 115 packs, this lasts me um, several months because I only run my dishwasher when it's um, full and I need to run it. So sometimes I skip a day or so. But yeah, so good deal on that. I pretty much only buy these at Costco because it's just easier and it's a good deal. So that's it for non-food, I think. Yeah. So let's go down here. So my bananas that I always buy at basically every store I go to, $1.79 for three pounds of organic bananas. Um, I prefer the organic and the like conventional ones, I guess, were like really beat up. So I got the nicest ones I can find. So $1.79, great deal. Um, I typically buy my produce, bread, eggs, and milk from another store such as Aldi, Meyer. Um, Walmart so just so you know so yes we eat a lot more produce than just bananas but um, bananas good deal this is the other hot deal that I bought it was $8.99 it's typically $12.99 for this Kerrygold pure Irish butter if you haven't tried this butter I don't know what you're, you're missing out on so much it's the best butter I never 
thought that it mattered that much, but it really does. So you get four eight ounce bars. So you have to have a pretty big um, butter dish. I have a Tupperware one I won from a party years ago and it's perfect for it. But yeah, four eight ounce things of butter, um, blocks of butter, I guess. Um, my store only has the salted. I like the salted. Um, typically I buy unsalted for baking and stuff, but um, I'll buy that in the cheaper store brand. But Kerrygold is just awesome. So $8.99 for that. Get this hot deal by um, the 11th if you really need it. So there's that. Um, which way should I go? I never know which way to go. Okay, this Thai style coconut chicken. It's paleo. Kevin's Natural Foods brand. I've never tried anything this brand. It just sounds good. I didn't look at the nutrition facts, but it says it's tender chicken breast strips with mild coconut curry, coconut milk, basil, and Thai spices. So that sounds good. There's the nutrition facts if you care a little bit of sugar, but um, it says... Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty clean from what I can see. Um, let me know below if you want like, me to take like an actual picture of it. Um, hopefully I'll see it before I eat it and throw it away. But yeah, I like to have easy dinners, at least a couple on hand for the nights that we're really busy. My son's doing, starting to do like some sports. So um, yeah, some nights I'm just in a hurry. It says ready in five minutes, perfect. And this was $11.99 so for that. We'll move back up here. Water, boring, but I buy it every time I go to Costco. I just try to get in that habit. We do drink down about half or two thirds by the time I go back to Costco. Um, we do have refillable bottles, but sometimes these are just nice for picnics or camping or, you know, my husband works in the garage and sometimes he just grabs a water bottle. It's not a big deal. $2.99 for this 40 pack of Kirkland water bottles. So meat, I know I haven't had meat in a haul for a long time because I did have a lot of um, the chubs from, they call it chubs from Costco, the Kirkland brand, and it's pretty good. Um, but I had a couple of those, like a couple five packs of those, and um, I did have some pork, but I'm finally getting through the meat. I think I still have some chicken and some like tilapia or something, but, um, and some venison but I wanted to get more of this pork tenderloin. This is a really awesome deal for meat if you eat pork. So it is $2.29 a pound. There's actually two pieces. Yeah, it says right there, two pieces per pouch. So it's four pieces of tenderloin and it's so good in a crock pot. So this was only $10.14 for this pretty good size pack. It's a four and a half, <clears throat> excuse me, four and a half pounds. And yeah, I think that's a really good deal. I do it in a slow cooker. I've done it with like as carnitas and I've done it with like a mushroom gravy, if you're into like a brown gravy like that. It's so good. So easy. Um, eventually I might do a video on it. It's not that special. You just throw it in a crock pot with your sauces and onion or whatever you have. <laughs> but really, really good. I used to buy their like pork shoulder butt <laughs> or what they call it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to go clear my throat and drink some water. It's allergy season here in Kentucky, and yeah, I can feel it, and it just rained, so it's probably worse. But yeah, typically I buy like the pork shoulder, which is cheaper, like per pound, but at Costco, which is like the only place I like to buy meat, I just think their quality is so much better, they sell it in a two-pack, so it's a lot of meat, and typically I'll use one right away and throw the other one in the freezer, but a pork shoulder is huge. It's massive. It's like this size. So... Just for those purposes and price-wise, it's close. I just like to buy the tenderloins. And we have a small family, like I said. So pork tenderloin. Next thing, I wanted to get some more organic ground beef. I have, like I just said, they, I do still have some of the, um, like the meat chubs. They, they're like in a tube, kind of like how you sell ground sausage. But this was a pretty good deal. It was $4.85 a pound, I believe. So this was $19. Um, 99 for, um, this is just a, a pound and a third, I believe. Yeah, a pound and a third, like I said. So three pounds and a third. So I do like Kirkland's organic ground beef a lot. It tastes really good. And this is a 85-15 mix. So yeah, 19.99 for that. Next thing. Oh, this is the best frozen pizza ever. If you're into frozen pizza, and I just like pizza, it's one of my favorite foods, and my husband's and son's as well. 
This is the best frozen pizza you can get. This was $10.79. It's a two pack and it comes in a tray of its own. It's a Detroit style deep dish. So a pretty, pretty good size. Um, again, Motor, authentic Motor City Pizza Company. It's double pepperoni. So you got the slices and the little cubes. And I like that. I actually don't care for pepperoni. It's probably my least favorite pizza topping, but I like this one. <laughs> I do wish they sold like a Supreme, I guess. Um, pizza at Costco but they don't this they sell this and they sell like a cheese bread but we're more into pizza um, so yeah a two pack I just thought that's an awesome deal Come, and you could probably get this at Walmart for like six or seven dollars so for each pizza and this is a two pack so two pack for ten seventy nine. best pizza ever I found that out from Fallon on Mott's Family TV so yeah <laughs> that's where I learned that from it's so good lunch meat you see me buy this basically every time I go to Costco um, this is the Kirkland Signature Roast Beef and Kirkland Signature Honey Roasted Turkey Breast. We like all Kirkland Signature um, lunch meat. To us, it's better than getting it from a case at like Kroger. So this was $7.69 a pound. This was $6.69 a pound. Both good. Not going to talk too much about those. Um, when we open it, we usually go through maybe half. And if we're not going to eat the other half right away, I'll throw it in the freezer and I pull it out and I've never had a problem. That's a good way of um, keeping your food safe, so, you know, so you don't get food poisoning or anything like that. Yucky. Um, next thing, this was $8.99 for the Arla Havarti cheese. It's a little pricey, but it's our favorite cheese. I like that it's, um, it's not really thick cut, but it's like thicker than a normal slice of um, sandwich cheese. You get 32 slices. So this lasts us a month. We were also almost out of this. I think we had like four slices left. But yeah, $8.99 for our favorite Havarti cheese. There's that. Um, oh, let's go this other cheese while I'm here. Colby Jack. So like I said, I buy um, things com like when they're a good price. So what I do is I do have a list on my phone. I go through the store and, I'll, and I glance at the things I typically buy like cheese. You know, our favorite hamburger buns up here. But yeah, we go through a block of cheese every three weeks or so. Um, I didn't necessarily need it today, but this was $4.89. And at one time, the cheese, this two pound thing of cheese was up to $7. That's too much. <clears throat> so yeah, $4.89, I picked one up. I keep it in the fridge. It's not going to go bad. Um, I rarely, rarely buy shredded cheese. I rather shred it myself. So there's that for this Kirkland Colby Jack cheese. Been buying it for years. It's good. This next thing I've been buying the past few months and I'm hoping that they don't take it off the shelves because that's how Costco goes. Sometimes you start liking something and then they pull it and you don't see it for ever or years at least <laughs> or months. So this is $6.79. I think that gone down in price. I don't know. I could be wrong. And it is uh, this Natural Ovens Bakery Keto Friendly Buns. There are 12 of them in here and they are really soft and really good. I bought this the past few hauls, but I'll show it to you anyways, especially if you're new. We are not a keto family. <clears throat> there is carbs in this, but it's a, you take out the dietary fiber and it equals one, yeah, one net carb. There you go. We're not keto, but we just try to eat a balanced diet. Um, trying to make sure I got everything. Yep. Last two things. This cashews is at $13.99. It wasn't on sale or anything, but it's just really good. Um, I still have some unsalted cashews that my son eats. That was from Sam's Club back in January. My husband likes the salted, so I got him his own. So it's two and a half pounds for $13.99, like I said. And last thing are these Kirkland Signature Organic Tortilla Chips. It was $4.89 today, same as the cheese, which is right under it on the receipt. Um, yeah, organic. It's... Two and a half pounds, awesome chips. I don't have anything more to say about that. So, yep, just over, it was $150 and change. Make sure you upload your receipts. And typically you get like a week to upload it if you're like me and forget. So yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate you joining my little YouTube family. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about couponing or any of these deals or products, just let me know below. I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.